welcome to Tech Jerry Aviation. I am Jarnell Singh, certified author and trainer for aviation courses and books, having more than 30 years of experience in various domestic and international airlines in India, Southeast Asia, Middle East Europe and Central Asia. I am certified as master trainer by Aerospace and Aviation Center Skills Council, as well as by National Skill Development Corporation India. I'm also certified by International Airport Transport Association, Montreal, Canada. In this video, we are going to learn about an essential part of airport ground handling termed as Safety Management System as Safety and security are paramount in aviation industry. We have launched a textbook on airport ground handling for the students aspiring for their career in aviation industry through e-commerce website. Very shortly, we will launch all the books related to various verticals in aviation industry, along with the YouTube tutorials. These textbooks can be used as a knowledge bank and reference to enhance firm knowledge in the field of aviation industry during course of their employment tenure in airport ground handling textbook. We are learning about all the necessary processes and procedures involved in airport ground handling and every aspect of these processes and procedures are required to be managed as per the guidelines laid down in safety management system manual which is approved by the regulatory authorities it is mandatory for everybody to follow these safety policies if you are new to our channel Please like and subscribe for all aviation courses we're providing to students free of cost via our YouTube channel. Let's begin with the introductory part of Safety Management System. What is a safety management system? No system can guarantee 100% safety. But following a well-defined management system, we can mitigate the hazard and associated risk to an acceptable level without affecting the safe operation. This management system follows top-to-bottom approach, with non-punitive reporting policy, which must be included in the safety policy statement of the organization, signed by an accountable top-level executive. At all times it's everybody's responsibility, to report unsafe incidents and near misses in the course of operations at the airport. Let's now learn some basics about the safety management system. In future videos, we will cover the safety management system in detail. Let's continue. Now let's talk about safety management system manual, which has to be duly approved by the competitive authorities at an airport. It contains the safety management system policies and procedures of the organization, and it is different for different airports and organizations. In this slide, we will talk about the implementation of safety management system for different departments as per their working to implement it we have to conduct a brainstorming session and must encourage staff to come out with the safety hazards and associated risks and the consequences associated with them in the category of low risk medium risk moderate risk and severe risk for this purpose we have a readily available charts categorizing the risk involved in the operation and unanimously come to a common decision in accordance with safety management system manual to an acceptable level of risk during course of operations. Please refer to your safety management system manual for further guidance. Let's continue. In our day-to-day -day operation, we have observed that every day is different from another day. It means we will continuously face new challenges and subsequent solutions on a day-to-day basis. Reports will be sent to the safety department for corrective measures and the safety department will issue new guidelines as per the reports received. That's why the safety management system manual requires continuous review and issuance of amendments which must be incorporated in the safety management system manual. These amendments will be audited by the national aviation authorities and must comply with their guidelines issued by DGCA in India, and on international level, guidelines issued by ICAO Doc 9859 and respected ICAO Annexes 6, 11, 14 and 19 which you will see on the next slide. Let's continue. 
as you can see in this video, how these manual and annexes looks like. You can see Doc 9859, Annex 6 related to operation of aircraft, Annex 11 related to air traffic services, Annex 14 related to aerodromes and Annex 19 related to safety management. Hope now you guys are familiar with how docks and annexes looks like. Let's continue, as earlier discussed the amendments has to be issued by safety manager after taking due approval of accountable head of the Department of Safety. All stakeholders involved in airport operation must refer to latest amendments in SMSM. The following format is shown below in which amendments are issues and incorporated in the safety management system manual. Always check for the latest amendments. Let's continue. Let's talk about airside operational safety at our airports that has a vital link in aviation safety and in managing safety system. To achieve airside safety by providing and maintaining airport facilities to the appropriate ICAO and DGCA standards and recommended practices, which are given in annexes. As you can see in the picture showing the airside facilities available on the terminal stand with respective surface markings. It is important to note that the airport and aircraft safety on the ground is everybody's responsibility. All users of the airports must control and coordinate the activities to ensure that high levels of safety standards are achieved. This SMSM has been developed by the respective company as part of its comprehensive documentation to achieve high standards of safety in addition to the airside safety regulations. Now let's talk about the purpose of safety management system manual in aviation. There are two main purposes. First, establish safety procedures. Second, provide safety information and safety instructions, which are essential for safe and efficient operations at different airports. Few three-letter International Airport Transport Association Airport code associated to different airports are given below. Delhi, Amritsar, Chandigarh, Jaipur, Lucknow, Varanasi, Baroda, Dehradun, Udaipur, and Indore. The SMSM also establishes the arrangements by which we oversee the activities of ground handling, to ensure safe and efficient performance of all involved in airside operations. To achieve safety management objectives, all personnel must implement the standards, practices, procedures and processes set out in this SMSM. Deviations must be authorized by the director. Safety starts from ground, and, for safety of aircraft on ground, we must report any non-adherence to the established policies. In case of any non-adherence to the SMS objectives or airside safety regulations, the safety manager is authorized to raise a non-compliance of the same. Now, let's talk about some definitions used in Safety Management System Manual. First, Accident. An accident is an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft that entails a fatality or serious injury. Substantial damage to the aircraft involving structural failure or requiring major repair of the aircraft. Second, incident. Incident means an occurrence, other than an accident, associated with the operation of an aircraft which affects or could affect the safety of operation. Third, serious incident. Serious incident means an incident involving circumstances indicating that there was a high probability of an accident and associated with the operation of an aircraft. In the case of a manned aircraft, takes place between the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until such time as all such persons have disembarked. Ferry flight, in the case of an unmanned aircraft, takes place between the time the aircraft is ready to move with the purpose of flight until such time as it comes to rest at the end of the flight and the primary propulsion system is shut down.
Fourth, serious injury. An injury which is sustained by a person, in an accident and which requires hospitalization, for more than 48 hours, commencing within seven days from the date, the injury was received. Or, results in a fracture of any bone, except simple fractures of fingers, toes or nose. Or, involve second or third degree burns, or any burns affecting more than 5% of the body surface. As you can see in the picture, showing various degrees of burns, first, second, and third degree burns respectively. Fifth, fatal injury. An injury which is sustained by a person, in an accident and which results in his or her death, within 30 days of the date of the accident, in the airport ground handling textbook. We have covered its introduction in detail, module by module, so that it can help the students who are aspiring to start their career in aviation industry. It will give you a good head start from basic to advanced level. Please do share your queries in the below comment box to have your airport career solutions. And thank you for watching this video of safety management system. I hope you all must have gained some knowledge about the airport ground handling safety requirements. Please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel for the upcoming videos of all the aviation courses. Video tutorials are free of cost for the benefits of aspiring students looking for complete knowledge and job in aviation industry. With regards, Jernel Singh from Tech Jerry Aviation, CEO and Founder, Certified Author and Trainer. See you all very soon.